Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. We spent quite a bit of time in the tiny little Fiat 500, both in coupe and convertible form, and have found that if you can handle the ultra cute looks, the 500 offers a ton of fun for the money. Well, if you're looking for even more fun for not a lot more money, this Fiat 500 Abarth may just be the ticket. So let's punch it and find out. Here at Motor Week, we're all about getting the best performance bang for our buck. And the 2012 Fiat 500 Abarth embodies that sentiment in spades. For starters, this small but wicked Fiat gets a huge boost in power. Under the hood is a thoroughly beefed up version of the multi-air 1.4 liter I4 found in the standard 500. But here, turbo boost output by 59 horsepower to 160. That's 114 ponies per liter. Even more impressive, torque nearly doubles to 170 pound feet. The Abarth name may be new to most, but the company has a 60-year tradition of pumping performance out of Italian rides. Now as Fiat's in-house tuner, Abarth has done a lot more than just slap on a turbo and call it a day. The 500 Abarth is a total transformation. The suspension has been thoroughly tweaked with new Kony frequency selective damping shocks, stiffer springs, and a solid rear stabilizer bar, and all toll sits half an inch lower. Just punch the sport button for maximum engine output, quicker throttle response, and more steering feel, and you're ready to blast through the corners. Understeer has been almost eliminated. Turn-in is insanely quick, and the car flat out sticks. More fun? Definitely. Faster? Well, let's see. Fast is always a relative term, and a zero to 60 time of 7.7 .7 seconds is not exactly supercar territory. But it is certainly much quicker than previous 500s that we've tested, almost two seconds faster actually. The quarter mile is obviously quicker as well, at 15.8 seconds and 89 miles per hour. Off the line, the Abarth puts power down fairly effectively with no torque steer. First and second gears pass quickly, but third is a real workhorse, taking you through most of the quarter mile. A Ferrari it's not, but somehow it's almost just as thrilling. And the sound is great, even if it's not from a V12. Transmission is five-speed manual only. It needs a sixth gear. Still, the upgraded unit worked flawlessly throughout our testing. Stopping is also improved, bringing our Abarth to a halt two feet sooner than a 500 Sport at 120 feet from 60. We all know that Italians like to do things with style, and the Abarth certainly gets a runway-worthy makeover. But rest assured, there's function to go along with that form. Starting with a 500 Sport, the Abarth gets a more vertical front fascia to make more room in the engine bay for turbo plumbing and to allow room for larger air intakes. Down the sides are extended skirts and on our test car, painted aluminum 17-inch wheels, which replace the standard 16s. And back, there's a redesigned fascia with black lower diffuser and double dual-tipped exhaust and, of course, a big rear spoiler. And if all that weren't enough, there are Abarth Scorpion shields on just about every body panel, though the red mirror caps and body side stripes are optional. We already love the purposeful interior design of this modern Cinquecento, and now there's even more Amor with added Abarth elements like a nice thick flat bottom steering wheel, black leather with red stitching on the gauge hood and shifter, aluminum pedal covers, and body hugging performance seats. Our car had the optional Russo Nero leather. We're still not fans of the concentric gauge array or the dash top Tom Tom nav, but have no qualms at all about the new turbo boost gauge. While much more comfortable for two than four, the 500 remains surprisingly practical with its 9.5 cubic feet of trunk space expanding to 26.8 with the rear seats folded. Government fuel economy ratings are 28 city and 34 highway. Expect 31 miles per gallon of premium in everyday driving. 
The energy impact score is quite good at 10.6 barrels of oil consumed per year with annual CO2 emissions of 4.7 tons. As for pricing, the 2012 Fiat 500 Abarth retails for $22,700. That's about five grand over a 500 Sport, but it's money well spent as you are definitely getting filet performance on a PBJ budget. Which is exactly the way we like it here at Motor Week. The Abarth is the most fun we've had in a car that costs under $25,000 in some time. So buy two, they're small.